now that's a third degree Bitch, I'm a big goddess, you would think I came from Mercury Way I make it pop, I'm more in rock, they need the surgery Bitches think they Hercules, end up in the infirmary, no swerving me Bitch, and I mention my name, if it don't come with a check Line them all up like a ball, but leave them a call, cause there won't be nobody left If I should find you a target, don't get on pardon and pressure got bitches compressed They wanna talk with the hardest, stop coming harder, stop taking out all the best it can be intimidating in such a male-dominated industry, particularly when people expect you to be a certain way, act a certain way, dress a certain way. And I never really fit into those categories. I was always kind of just doing my own thing, regardless. So I guess it can be intimidating, but it's also empowering because when you embrace your true self and your authentic self, regardless of the expectations that are placed upon you, then you free yourself of all of those expectations and you just do you so I would say it is intimidating but it's not the end of the world my mum actually came up with my name <laughs> it's not a G story at all but um yeah my mum actually came up with my name it's my little sister's name and my name mixed together because my other rap name that I started with my mum was actually like if you're gonna take this rap shit serious you need a different name because I don't know what what was it before? It was like C baby, but it was like C E E B A Y B E E, and it was so bad. So I'm glad that she came up with Clorio. But yeah, my little sister's name's Rakaya, and my real name is Clarissa. Put it together, Clorio. How I deal with haters now is I usually just have to understand where they're coming from. To be honest, like I come from a place of empathy, and it wasn't always like that, but. When I think about it, if I was someone who was very insecure with myself and I wasn't comfortable with myself or where I was at in life, I would probably project my insecurities onto someone else as well. So, I mean, I just kind of feel sorry for them. I don't really take it personal anymore. I used to take it personal so bad, but now I'm just kind of like, you know, I hope you heal. <laughs> Look, sis, I would, because I'm not that type of bitch to gatekeep, but, um, I literally do my own hair and makeup, so <laughs> I have to tag myself. In terms of Melbourne, there was never a talk about a collab, but I'd be open to it. Like, there was never no hard feelings. I just did the diss because I just did it for fun, to be honest. Like, I was just with my girls, we did it for fun. Everybody was joining in on it, so it doesn't burn me. Like, I'm happy for everybody that's coming up right now and doing their thing. If anything, I'm happy that the Oz music scene is getting the recognition that it deserves because we have so many talented people here. So if I have to wait on the burnout, like, I'm all good with that. But I think I've, I'm comfortable in my position. I've solidified my position as much as I could. So, so Hess was supposed to be on Massacre, the track that I just dropped. He had a verse on there. Like, he sent me through his verse and everything. He killed it. Um, we were supposed to do like a music video and stuff, but then lockdown happened, kept happening, and our schedules just didn't really align, so yeah, that happened. So I had to release it um, and put a second verse with my voice, obviously. But who's to say that, you know, a have some riot track won't be coming in the future? I don't know. I said this in like the previous interview that I did with $80 and the Triple J Hip Hop Show, but... I would like to collab with um, Young and Lips because I just feel like, I don't know, listening to his music, I feel like we have very similar stories and especially his song Breaking Home or Breaking Homes. Yeah, I can really relate to that. So I would, I mean, I think we could do some crazy shit. So I'd be down to collab with I would love to collab with female artists. Like I've sent, I mean, I've been in talks with other females, um, other female artists and they've sent me things through my email and I've sent my verse and it just never ends up coming out so um yeah that's tiring but um but yeah I'm right I would do a whole album with females on it like at this point but I definitely want to collab with Baka though we did speak about it through DMs and I think we're gonna tee something up um after lockdowns over so adding on to that actually I would like to collab with Billy Marie and a girl because I feel like us three together on a track. <sighs> Great. Alright guys, I'm gonna love you and leave you. I've enjoyed answering all you guys' questions and connecting with you guys. Shout out to From the Area page for having me on today. And yeah, just everyone keep spreading love, positivity, none of this division shit. 
Um, but yes, stay blessed.